Mega Rayquaza is finally coming to Pokemon Go, and it's debuting during Pokemon Go Fest this summer, both at the in-person events and then at the global Go Fest event at the end of August. So, uh, this is huge. This is going to be a very, very strong, very important Pokemon to have. And of course, I mean, everyone loves Rayquaza, right? It's like one of the most popular legendary Pokemon. And we're finally getting the Mega version. So, Here's what's going down. Trainers will be able to encounter Mega Rayquaza first at the in-person GoFest events in London, Osaka, and New York, and then it will make its worldwide debut during Global GoFest, which is August 20, 26th, and 27th. So if you're not going to London, Osaka, or New York, you'll be able to get Mega Rayquaza starting August 27th at Global Go Fest. Mega Rayquaza is a little bit different. The announcement says, unlike other Mega Evolving Pokemon, Rayquaza can't Mega Evolve with Mega Energy alone. Trainers hoping to Mega Evolve their Rayquaza will need to teach it the charged attack Dragon Ascent. This is Rayquaza's signature move. It's a new move. It's not in Pokemon Go yet. No other Pokemon can learn it. So we don't know how strong it is, but when Mega Rayquaza debuts, you are gonna have to teach it Dragon Ascent first, and then use Mega Energy to Mega Evolve it. Dragon Ascent can only be learned by using a new item, Meteorites. So it doesn't learn it by TM, like every other move that we've ever had in Pokemon Go. You need Meteorites to teach Dragon Ascent to Rayquaza before it can Mega Evolve. Before we go into Meteorites, let's talk about Dragon Ascent. It is uh, a new move, like I said, so we don't know the stats on it yet, but I have a feeling it's gonna be good. Like, why wouldn't it be good? Precipice Blades, which is Primal Groudon's move, um, Origin Pulse, Primal Kyogre's move, made them so much better. I'm expecting the same for Dragon Ascent on Mega Rayquaza. Currently, with its current moves, Mega Rayquaza is the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighth best attacker overall in Pokemon Go. Like, overall, no matter what type. And that's including Mega Mewtwo, X and Y, Mega Lucario, um, which are three Pokemon that we don't even have in the game yet. So currently, I guess it's like the fifth best. With Dragon Ascent, I would expect it to become stronger than Mega Alakazam, Blaziken, Gengar, Lucario, um, and probably be one of the strongest Pokemon like top five attacker in Pokemon Go. Now there's always a chance that Diantic does something weird with the move and makes it really weak, but I think that's very unlikely given that this is like the marquee headline Pokemon for Go Fest. Um, I'm expecting the move to be very good. Mega Rayquaza will probably be a top five overall attacker of any type in Pokemon Go. So definitely a big deal. You can use it for probably everything. So in order to get Dragon Ascent, you need Meteorites. Uh, meteorites are going to be available through research. You can collect meteorites by completing certain research tasks during GoFest 2023. So it sounds like we'll be able to get more than one. I'm assuming that one meteorite equals one Dragon Ascent. So like if you have multiple meteorites, you can get Dragon Ascent on multiple Rayquazas. Um, not that you're ever really going to have more than one Mega Evolved at the same time but you should be able to get multiples. That's what the announcement makes it sound like. So those items will be available through research during GoFest. Mega Rayquaza also has new bonuses. It's similar to Primal Kyogre and Primal Groudon in that it boosts multiple types. So having Mega Rayquaza in a battle during a raid will boost damage for all the Pokemon participating in the raid, but then three types are also gonna get an extra damage boost. Flying, Psychic, and Dragon. Essentially the three types that are boosted by Windy Weather. The same way that um, Primal Groudon boosts Pokemon that are boosted by Sunny Weather. Uh, Primal Kyogre works on Pokemon boosted by Rainy Weather. Mega Rayquaza is going to boost Pokemon that are boosted by Windy Weather. So when you have Mega Rayquaza in a battle, Flying, Psychic, and Dragon are going to deal probably 30% extra damage, and then all Pokemon in the battle, regardless of type, will deal 10% extra damage. That's typically how the spread has worked. I would assume it's the same for Mega Rayquaza. Also, when Mega Rayquaza is evolved, you'll get extra candy and XP for catching flying, psychic, and dragon type Pokemon, and an increased chance of earning XL candy. So again, like a windy weather boost, you're going to get extra candy and XP, and an extra chance of XL candy for those three types. Mega Rayquaza raids are going to appear 
in all three of the GoFest cities, London, Osaka, and New York, and everyone is gonna be able to see them and participate in them, even if you don't have a ticket. So if you don't have a ticket, but you live near London or you live near New York, you can go to the city and do the raids, but you won't get any mega energy. You can only earn mega energy if you have a ticket for the in-person event in that city. If you don't have a ticket, you can still do the raid, you can still catch a Rayquaza, but you don't get mega energy until Global Go Fest. Once Global Go Fest rolls around the last weekend in August, then everyone can start earning mega energy, even without a Go Fest ticket. Now for Global Go Fest, it says all trainers will be able to harness the power of Mega Rayquaza during its global debut in raids on Sunday, August 27th. Okay, so not Saturday, only on Sunday, August 27th. All trainers who log in during event hours will receive a short special research that grants a meteorite when completed. So even if you don't have a ticket for Global Go Fest, as long as you log into the game on Sunday, August 27th, you'll get a special research that gives you a meteorite. That means you can teach at least one Rayquaza, Dragon Ascent, and if you can get the mega energy for it by doing raids, then you can mega evolve Rayquaza. So you don't have to have a ticket, you can get it for free as long as you log in Sunday, August 27th. If you have a ticket for Global Go Fest, you'll get an extended special research that awards an additional meteorite as well as other rewards. So you can get at least one more meteorite by having a ticket. Doesn't say anything about anything beyond those two for Global Go Fest. And honestly, it doesn't say how many meteorites you'll get at the in-person Go Fest, but for sure you can get at least one for free on August 27th. I think that's it for Mega Rayquaza. Um, if you have questions, let me know. The Go Fest pages, the city events, all of the events, global event also, we're also updated with the full list of spawns for each of the habitats, so we know um, all of the Pokemon that are gonna be appearing. So I'm working on that video. Also, I'll try to get that up later today with the full list of Pokemon, but I wanted to get this out first because Mega Rayquaza is a pretty big deal. If you're impatient or you don't care about having me read it to you, um, you can go check out the Pokemon Go website. The GoFest pages are updated with the full list of spawns for GoFest for all of the Go Fests. If that video's up, you can watch it right here. If it's not, check out this one in the meantime, and then check back later, because there might be a video here later on. All right, thanks for watching. Mega Rayquaza's coming. It's gonna be good. Let me know if you're excited. See you in the next one. This one over here. Bye.